here they have uh, they have done the staging actually if the increment in the creatinine the one actually, uh, i told you initially the point point 3 50% or less than point ml per kg if it is there uh, this is stage one if it is the creatinine rise is uh, between 2 to 2.9 it is called as stage two and if the means oliguria is sustained for more than means around 12 hours the stage one and stage three when the requirement of the dialysis is there or increment means it uh, of the creatinine is more than three times or uh, means uh, around 24 hours so the oliguria is persisting uh, and of course it is uh, less than 0.3 ml per kg per hour next slide please here generally this we in the nephrology we follow kedigo guidelines and uh, again this is the kind of the means uh, yeah, definition only next slide please uh, one thing i um, forgot to tell that increment of 0.3 in 24 hours sorry 48 hours two days then 50% in seven days and urine output criteria is for six hours that we just need to remember that next one So what what could be the causes? Let us discuss. The main part has come now. Ki the etiology of the AKI. Fever has to be treated, but diagnosis have, of the fever has to come to us to treat that. So the AKI means etiology. The causes of AKI can be anything on the earth actually. Means starting with our normal uh, this thing. And generally we start uh, with that pre renal. Renal, post renal. Uh, uh, a non nephrology person will be thinking a medicine causing AKI will be renal. What do you think? Actually, this is not a two way communication, otherwise, it could have been an interesting talk actually. So, a medicine like NSAID, like ARB, ARB means tell me certain, call me certain, NSAID like brufen or acyclofenate or diclofenate, if it causes a AKI initially, you must be thinking it must be a renal one, but it's not like that. If NSAIDs, they cause AKI, it is not directly going and hampering the kidneys in the anatomical way. It's hampering the kidney in the physiological way. Like, the, uh, do you remember that actually that uh, chart I should have shown you, that pre-renal, uh, that uh, uh, afferent and efferent arterioles in the global world. If the efferent is dilated, and afferent is constricted, the GFR will drop down. Afferent means where the blood is going in the moment's capsule and afferent from where the blood is getting poured out of that moment's capsule. So, that renal hemodynamics basically is related with the... I must be having... A, a, a renal hemodynamics is basically related with the uh, dilatation and constriction of these two vessels only. Arterioles before Moments capsule and after, before matlab, that afferent and after matlab, efferent. So if efferent get, gets constricted and afferent get dilated, GFR will increase. If efferent gets dilated and afferent gets constricted, the GFR will drop down because intragonal pressure will be more when the afferent gets dilated and efferent gets constricted. When the intragonal pressure is more, GFR will be more. And GFR matlab kya hoga? The blood, uh, sorry, the part of that blood which is coming in the tubules actually. It is GFR. So, if ARB basically, what in ARB, what an NSAID causes? Of, say, ARB will cause dilatation of the efferent. Intragonal pressure will drop and GFR will drop down. So, tell me certain, all me certain, they are good medicines. But in the dehydrated person, a person with a dehydration will cause dilatation of the efferent, loss in the GFR and causing AKI. And now taking the example of afferent, uh, or sorry, uh, this afferent means NSAIDs, acyclopinic or, and uh, diclofenac, brufen, what they cause? They cause constriction of the afferent, causing loss of, means uh, decrease in the intragonal pressure, causing loss of the GFR, again causing AKI. These two kinds of the AKI, they are not renal type of the AKI. They are rather pre-renal of the AKI. We must be thinking that if medicine has directly kidney pain, then 
so it must be renal it's not like that this is the renal hemodynamics which is getting affected suppose this pre renal kind of the ati is sustained for few hours few days then it becomes it may become renal if the tubules will be deprived of that particular tubule uh, particular fluid because that fluid contains oxygen the fluid contains nutrients nutrition and it is not supporting that tubule so tubules getting necrosis atn acute tubular necrosis atn is a renal kind of the aki post renal kya hoga means starting from the tip of the penis mean a male or starting from the tip of the urethra in the case of female or vagina any obstruction wahan se leke kidney tak any obstruction like meatal stenosis like for prostatic hypertrophy like any clot means uh, getting uh, means blocking the urethral passage or any clot blocking both the ureters like any big tumor in the bladder causing obstruction causing back pressure the kidneys are getting formed but they are not getting drained out and back pressure water hemorrhage effect is there and kidneys are not functioning now normally now so this will be called post renal or obstructive kind of the aki so means you can imagine ki means anything means uh, from head to toe suppose some sepsis is there why the sepsis causes aki because because of sepsis the inflammatory cytokines get increased and main function of the inflammatory cytokines is dilatation of the vessel the vessels gets dilated intra means your pressure blood pressure gets down actually so there what happens tachycardia is there what is the cardiac output co is equal to means peripheral vascular resistance into heart rate here the peripheral vascular resistance gets decreased because of the inflammatory cytokines dilatory vessel dilatory cytokines and because of that the tachycardia means increase it means uh, there is a tachycardia because cardiac out output has to be maintained co is equal to pvr into uh, heart rate heart rate increases because your pvr peripheral vascular resistance decreases cardiac out output has to be maintained but when this system fails because the heart is not able to cope up uh, that with means in, uh, heart is not sustaining uh, itself with that tachycardia it gets filled and now the cardiac output decreases the means, uh, renal perfusion means blood supply to the kidneys are hampered and now the aki is there this will be this will be initially pre renal but when it's prolonged it becomes renal kind of the aki because renal and pre renal make kya difference hai ki renal if it is addressed earlier in the earlier stage fluid de diya noret vasopressor chala diya so it will be recovered but if it is renal now or atn sets in so the patient may be dialysis dependent sometimes for few weeks sometimes for few months and sometimes for life next slide please i didn't discuss anything about the slide only yeah so again a very means easy slide you will not be able to read uh, 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 let let me uh, take you means uh, give you some example of the proper nephrology renal kind of the ki Uh, uh, RP GN RP RF re, uh, rapidly progressive renal failure and rapidly progressive uh, glomerular failure. So rapidly progressive renal failure is defined when the kidney dysfunction is there over a period of weeks to months. When it is days to weeks is AKI. When it is uh, weeks to months, it is uh, RP RF. And when it is more than three months, it is called a CKD. And this is a syndromic kind of the. डेफिनेशन वी हैव इन द नेफ्रोलॉजी आरपीजीएन मतलब क्या है कि रैपिडली प्रोग्रेसिव ग्लोमरुलर नेफ्रोलॉजी सम स्पेसिफिक टाइप्स ऑफ द किडनी डिजीजेस दे आर जनरली ऑटोइम्यून काइंड लाइक लाइक अंका एसोसिएटेड वेसलाइटिस एसएली मींस एसएली मतलब क्या है हेड टू टो एनी वेसल्स कैन बी इन्वॉल्व इंक्लूडिंग लार्ज एंड स्मॉल वेसल्स ऑफ द किडनी लाइक टाकायासु लाइक डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द वेस्कुलर नॉन स्पेसिफिक वेस्कुलाइटिस if they are directly involving the kidneys the vasculitis is there renal function is hampered because all these arterioles efferent efferent operant arterioles what are they they are basically vessels if they are affected directly the gfr will be affected like tma thrombotic microangiopathy like hua hemolytic uh, uremic syndrome 
they are the hard called uh, core types of the nephrological diagnosis in a patient with the aki or we can call it rprf means when the duration of the disease period, period is prolonged so they are the pure type of the nephrology. generally these cases we deal less actually main predominant case is sepsis dehydration loose motion fever then uh, different contrast agents next slide please different contrast agents medicines nsaids amino glycosides actually i'm sorry for, for the slides are not very great i have to explain myself without reading the slides uh, next slide please uh, so intrinsic kind of the, yeah so some of the factors should be differently kept in the mind who are those patient who are the people they are at risk of aki age age more than 75 why age is the most important factor in means having it? because uh, after 40 year without having any disease no bp no sugar matlab bhagwan ka vardan likha hai still in spite of that they will be decrement in the gfr by 1 ml per year so 40 se 70 agar pahuncha hai 30 years pe they will be decline in the gfr by 30 so it becomes what matlab if a person with a gfr 90 normal gfr is 90 90 se agar wo 70 hua hai to 90 minus 30 it becomes 60 automatically and generally uske sath mein patient ko Uh, diabetes uh, hypertension uh, again those people they will be having uh, rapid decline in the gfr may, may may not be rapid decliner but they definitely as compared to the normal population non non hypertension non diabetic these kind of the people those who have diabetes hypertension some heart disease have to take some medicine on the prolonged basis maybe that medicine may be under I mean, labeled as non nephrotoxic but in the longer way every medicine has some effect on the kidney again some pre existing kidney disease those people those people jinke paas already ckd hai compromised kidneys are there so these people they have more tendency to cause to have aki uh, a person who has aki in some uh, uh, past tense now he does not have generally what happens with the aki the patient improves but those people they have a stigma they will different differently as compared to their uh, counterpart those who in those who have never developed aki they will be having more tendency to cause aki once exposed to a similar kind of a situation those people those people those who are debile dementia having dementia brain ka aki se kya relation hai dementia hai debile hai fever hai dehydration hai not able to re, means not able to uh, tell their means family members ki pyaas lagi hai pani pina hai not able to reach to that kitchen or pani ka jo botal ke paas mein they are not able to take that water themselves so they have means more tendency to cause aki heart failure liver disease heart failure kyun because the heart and kidneys they go in the opposite direction you dehydrate the patient heart is better you overhydrate the patient heart is worse you dehydrate the patient kidney is worse you overhydrate the patient creatinine goes down so heart and kidney they are in the opposite direction as far as the hydration is concerned so because of that this heart failure may patient has to take some medicine patient has to have some water balance and that water balance uh, looking at the heart situation may not be good for the kidney status liver disease of course and now so because of that cld chronic liver disease the vasodilatory effect of the different toxins retained in the body they are they are not good for the kidney and you know naki and uh, haki that uh, aki means hrs actually now has been defined as type 1 type 2 hypotension syndrome causing aki if it is causing uh, acute type it is called as type 1 if it is called uh, causing chronic type it is called as type 2 diabetes diabetes from head to toe can have any effect on uh, in the body actually from brain to uh, from head to toe causing neuropathy having aki causing cardiomyopathy Cause may be having indirect effect to the means of the kidney. Maybe directly, even the kidney is actually they are affected in the two ways. Uh, if the great vessels, big one vessels, they are involved. Renal vascular hypertension is there. If uh, uh, small vessels are involved, retention of the sodium is there. This is called renal hypertension. So there is difference between renal hypertension and renal vascular hypertension. Affected affection of the kidney may be 
in the both the forms generally the diabetes causing ckd the kidneys are in the normal size they are not contracted but if the kidneys are involved in the way ki renal vessels renal arteries are affected they are blocked the kidneys get shrunken actually hypotension so recurrent hypotension even uh, it's not a good for um, of course the means uh, rena uh, hypoperfusion will be there causing aki sepsis i have already discussed hypovolemia maybe because of fever maybe because of anything causing aki nephrotoxin amino glycosides nsaids and contrast agents used for the you know, these are the common things common things actually nsaids patient bahar ka hai panch din unhone brufen kha liya kyun kahin pe kuch matlab some pain was there and now the patient come with the creatinine of 2.3 being dialyzed contrast agent patient ka kuch contrast agent diya no precaution was there maybe the patient was having ckd in the baseline and now aki on ckd uh, has uh, ensures and the patient has come to you anti hypertensives i have already discussed ac inhibitors loop diuretics people think ki kidney ka problem hai so loop diuretics dena acha hota it's not like that we will discuss that in the next slide also next slide please so uh, the, this is a kedico kind of the because uh, kedico team basically so and again this is a kind of I means uh, basically definition part is there next slide please uh, these are the recommendations by the kedico ki basically the patient has to be uh, stratified and the cause of the aki has to be addressed properly whatever the cause is there has to be treated and next slide please and what what we need to monitor serum urea serum creatinine urine output we have to monitor uh, how we see the dehydration status now uh, this is a, not a two way uh, discussion so uh, how we basically uh, address the hydration status clinically and uh, in uh, with the help of some investigation so clinicals are like if the patient is able to uh, tell you he is having thirst sensation the tongues are dry eyes are shrunken JVP is collapsed, skins are dry. There is no edema, and the pulse is feeble. They are the clinical manifestation. And advanced one, the the quickest advanced one is IVC. Seeing the IVC of the patient, of course, some means uh, some of the yeah are there. I mean, some contraindications are there. We will not be able to detect the IVC properly. But in general, if the IVC is collapsed and uh, IVC is below 1.5 mm. 1.5 cm of course the patient is dry has to be means it is strict to of the ejection fraction some of the some amount of the fluid has to be infused otherwise the aki will uh, getting increased actually